There are thousands, if not tens of thousands of succulent varieties and more cultivars and hybrids are being created every day. So it's no surprise that we're not familiar with all the individual types, but there are some that are more common. And I wanna give you a little insight into the specific care needs for those individual plants, because even though the basics of caring for succulents is the same, they all tend to be fairly drought tolerant, it's not identical. Some succulents are going to tolerate temperatures well below freezing. They can grow in four season climates. Others like it a little bit more tropical or humid or warmer. Some can tolerate really extreme heat, whereas others can't. Some like full sun, some like shade. And so even though you might know the basics of how to care for succulents, the specific varieties that you purchase might vary depending on where you live. Some succulents are gonna grow better for you than others. Some are gonna take a lot of work in order to keep them alive, and others are gonna grow effortlessly. So in this series of videos, I wanna introduce you to a variety of succulents, some that are fairly common and easy to find, and then a few that are a little bit more unusual or unique, like string of dolphins. Because if you know a little bit about the specific plant, just those basic things like how much light does it need, what temperatures can it tolerate, and even what different succulents can I combine it with, you're gonna be able to keep those succulents alive a lot better. Now, obviously this is not an exhaustive list. There are thousands of other succulents and we'll continue to put out information about those as well. But I wanna just give you an idea of what to look for when you're purchasing succulents, or maybe it's an insight into why a particular succulent is not growing well for you. For example, if you've been trying to grow a beautiful Pearl von Nuremberg in your house, it's probably not looking so great unless you have a really great grow light on it because it likes full sun. And the flip side of that is if you live in Arizona, like I do, and the temperatures get to be well over 100, it's also not going to do very well. It needs a really temperate climate and temperatures that stay between 50 and 75 or maybe up to 90 degrees. And same with Haworthias. These are great for beginners. They grow well indoors, but they're not going to do well in a lot of bright sunlight. So in each of the individual videos, you'll find out how to care for that plant specifically. And the videos, again, are not meant to be an exhaustive list of character traits of these succulents, but enough to get you started and to help you figure out what succulents are going to work best for you. One of the things that will really help both you and future viewers of the videos is if you leave comments and ask questions or share your experience with a particular succulent because every growing environment is different. Here in Phoenix, it's really hot and dry. So growing succulents even indoors is gonna be a little bit different than say growing them in Florida where it's really hot and humid. So if you share your experiences and we share the basics of what these succulents need, that's gonna help you and other succulent lovers learn more about these plants and have more success. It's all about figuring out what succulents work for you, how you need to adapt their care needs to where you live, and then just being willing to try something new. So I am so excited to introduce you to these beautiful plants that you see here and help you learn more about them. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to get more updates and share the videos that you find helpful with other succulent lovers that you know. And now let's get started.